In the past five years, there have been 34 right whale deaths across the U.S. and Canada. None of those deaths have been attributed to main boats or lobstering gear. The main lobster industry says it has done its part to help protect the endangered species. But there are some groups who think more must be done. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Callahan. Amanda Hill is off tonight. Maine's elected leaders and members of the lobster fishing community believe an out-of-state nonprofit just threatened the very future of the industry, while others believe the future of an endangered species is being rightfully protected. New Center Maine's David Guilford reports. Maine lobstermen are fired up. Make no mistake about it, our future as an industry is at stake. Lobsterman and marine biologist Kurt Brown joined lawmakers and industry leaders Friday to rebuke this week's decision by the Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch to red list Maine lobster as a product to avoid, citing risks to endangered right whales. They have made a decision which, will, which is a knife in the back of the lobster industry in Maine with no evidence. Senator Angus King visibly upset at the decision. There are no documented cases of Maine lobster gear ever killing a right whale, and the last entanglement was in 2004. Plus, the group argued fishermen have taken multiple steps, including removing 30,000 miles of rope from the water, begun using weaker lines and added breakpoints to them, and closed sections of water to fishing. This isn't a study somebody issued. These people are trying to put this industry out of business. They are telling people all over the country and the world not to buy Maine lobsters. Still, the whales remain endangered, causing the National Marine Fisheries Service to impose restrictions on fishermen in recent years. Monterey Aquarium Vice President Jennifer Dianto Kemmerly spoke with NECN Tuesday. Right now, science indicates most entanglements are not recorded. 90% can't be linked to a particular gear type. So that's the evidence we're looking for. The Seafood Watch carries weight. It lists major companies like Whole Foods and the Cheesecake Factory as business partners. Two meal kit companies, Blue Apron and HelloFresh, already pledged to stop offering lobster. King said it's impossible to predict how much revenue will be lost immediately, while the group urges the watch to reverse its recommendation. But you can call those retailers that you shop at, those restaurants you might go to anywhere in this country and say, you keep Maine lobster on the menu and in your store. In Portland, David Guilford, News Center, Maine. Also hitting the lobster industry this week, a federal court ruled against the Maine Lobstermen's Association, speeding up a timeline for removing the vast majority of lines dropped in the Atlantic. NOAA tells New Center, Maine, it wants to satisfy both the industry and the whales. The plan includes lowering ship speeds and using ropeless gear. Marine Resources Commissioner Patrick Kelleher says they're years away from that gear being widely available to fishermen, but they're going to feel the effects of this red listing right now. You can watch that full news conference on the lobster industry on the new Center Main YouTube page. You'll find the video right on the home page.